Project Cargoes presents specific and sometimes difficult handling issues, particularly if ship's personnel are involved directly in the loading or discharge operation, using the vessel's cranes and lifting gear. These cargoes can be of high value, heavy, or of large dimensions. And, as an added pressure, they can also be time-dependent, as they're often component parts of a much larger engineering project. Any delays in delivery could jeopardise the entire project's completion schedule. But commercial pressures are not an excuse to take shortcuts in safety. If a lift was to fail, Apart from the danger to life and limb, there is the certainty of severe damage to the cargo, the cranes and the vessel itself, resulting in large insurance claims, unwanted publicity and reputations ruined. Designed as a broad introduction to a complex subject and aimed at those new to the sector, this programme looks at lifted project cargoes and how heavy lift operations using the ship's own cranes are successfully and safely undertaken. Broken into short sections and using extensive live action and computer animation, it illustrates a number of lifting environments and cargo types, along with some of the more common design features of both cranes and vessels. The programme begins by looking at the preparation for handling project cargoes, describing the detailed planning that's required both ashore and on board ship to ensure lifting equipment is operated within permissible design limits and that positive vessel stability can be maintained throughout the lifting operation. The testing, validity and examination of all cranes and associated lifting equipment forms another significant part of the preparation process. The condition of all lifting gear must always be guaranteed before any loading or discharge operation, as a single failure of a piece of equipment, even the smallest component, is enough to cause a major accident. Key to managing risks on the day of the lift include having an effective system of communications, having clearly designated roles and having a dynamic and comprehensive risk assessment in place that takes into account both the safety of the vessel and the safety of the individual. Having established the basic principles of quayside lifts, the programme moves on to look at floated cargo and lifts involving offside barges, before finally looking at how project cargoes must be stowed and safely secured to prevent damage and to maintain the safety of the vessel, especially in rough seas. The expertise of experienced personnel and the development of stringent safety procedures has helped reduce serious incidents involving heavy lifts. By introducing these procedures and explaining the issues involved to those new to heavy lifts and project cargoes, it's hoped serious incidents will be reduced in the future. <laughs>